Hello friends, in this video I am going to write a C program to print Floyd's triangle. So I am using dev C++ compiler and in that I have to mention int return type for main function. That's why I am returning an integer value which is 0. So you should also do this if you are using uh, dev C++. So in this video I am going to print Floyd's triangle. So firstly I would, I would uh, uh, write the whole program then I will show you the output and then after I will let you know the logic that how the logic is working inside the Floyd's triangle right so here I have to do the declarations first I have some rows variable i j and number which is initialized by 1 in the beginning right so later I will let you know the use of this so i have to uh, print f enter number of rows which is which would be from uh, taken from user itself and scan f percent d m percent number of rows and then after we have to iterate the loop so inside the loop I have I equal to 1 I less than equal to rows and I plus plus <coughs> and inside of it I have another loop uh, in which J equal to 1 and J less than equal to I and J plus plus and inside of it I have printf percent d and then I have some space and then I have to write number right the variable number and then after I have to increment the <coughs> number variable and once the loop uh, first row would be completed then I have a print statement which is going to shift me to the next line right so because of that I have written printf backslash n so let's run this and see the output so for example I have eight number of rows so now you can see that this is the Floyd triangle right <coughs> Of course this program was really easy but you have to understand that how that has been printed right so I have uh, declared some variables rows i j number equal to 1 so then after I uh, got the input from the user in the variable rows and then for the first loop uh, I have the count this is utilized for the counting of number of rows and then we have number of columns that would be managed uh, from this loop and in that I have started j equal to 1 j less than equal to i what what is i i equal to 1 so that means for the first time this would be uh, executed only once and in that uh, the value of number is 1 so because of that uh, the 1 would be incremented later but before that would be printed so that's why 1 is here and then incremented and again backslash n new come to the new line and then i equal to 2 again 2 less than equal to rows and uh, rows value is uh, already 8 <coughs> so j equal to 1 so from 1 to 2 this time this loop would iterate for 2 times and you know the value <coughs> inside the number is 2 so this time the 2 would be printed and then after second time the j is also 2 uh, and 2 is less than equal to 2 so because of that and the value inside the number is 3 now because of uh, this increment and that would be printed and again once you will iterate one more time then condition would be wrong because 3 is not less than equal to uh, 2 so that's why we come to the next line and again this uh, iteration would be done and finally we end up with 
Floyd's triangle that you are looking on the screen. So this is really amazing and really easy. You should implement this whole concept into your system so that you could better understand and, be and better uh, check that how loops are going to be uh, iterated. So this is really easy. You should uh, do it. Uh, and uh, as you know that this is simple, but once you will do the practical, then you will uh, able to analyze it more clearly. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description, which are absolutely free. So in the next video, we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section, you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.